Dumelang everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kobana Shabalala and thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Thank you for taking the time to like, to comment, um, to subscribe. Thank you so, so much. So again, if you do like this uh, video, the content that I'm about to talk about, please do like, share, comment and subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe just yet, it's all good. Welcome, welcome, welcome either way. Today, basically, I wasn't going to record today, but um, I've been avoiding to record this video for the longest of time, and I think today is the right time. Um, corona has really tried to put a halt to many of our plans. You know, um, many of us are like, 2020 is cancelled, so you want to next year, you know. Uh, but how many times... Um, does that reflect into our own personal lives that we've cancelled a certain year or we've, we've cancelled a certain period in our lives because we're like says you want next time uh, whether it's it's uh, applying for that degree applying for that job you feel like you're underqualified you've got your own fears and anxieties about certain things so you'd rather just put on a halt until you feel ready you know, it's not just Corona, but it's a reflection of every time we stop something in our lives, you know, and um, it, 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 it really hit me that it's just a reflection of how many of us are waiting our whole lives to start living. So we wait until we get that money to do something we wait until we uh let me not say to do something we wait till we get that money to start the youtube channel we wait until we um think we are good enough to start singing in public or start recording ourselves singing uh so we 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 put everything on a hold for when we think that the time will be right but what if the time is now and yes there are moments where you need to be patient with yourself. But what if the time is now and you are blocking yourself from achieving great things simply because you think you're not ready? And I just remembered the, the book, uh, The Power of Now. It's a great book by Eckhart Tolle. I think uh, you should read it. Yes, I think you should. <laughs> it's a difficult read if you're not an uh, uh, avid reader. However, he talks about how the mind has an ego and the mind wants to hold on and to control time and the only way it can control time because you can't hold on to this moment the second i can't hold the mind because it's gone now i'm on to the next thing so i can't mentally hold this moment that i'm in so the mind can only hold on to the past and the future because those are tangible uh times to the mind and so it will hold on to the past that carries a lot of fear because of what has happened and so you hold on to fear or it can hold on to the future that holds a lot of anxieties because you don't know what will happen and now you are stuck in between fear and anxiety and you are not moving because you it's you find it difficult to hold on to this present moment so when you go on to read the book he's uh got moments where he's speaking at a conference and therefore it's a question and answer conversation and one audience member at the conference said well you know my life i'm paraphrasing everything obviously uh but she said that her life is a mess her life is not where she wants it to be her life could be better but it's not and right now in this moment it's a mess and I loved his response. His response was that um, your life is not a mess. Your life is full. Your life is whole. Your life is perfect. It's your life situation that's a mess. You can still fix the situation. And once that situation is fixed, now your life is fine. And that's why you need to isolate your life from your life situation. Uh, don't make, don't marry the one and make, don't marry the two and make them one. And he said that what can you do in this moment to fix whatever situation you're in? If you can't do, if there's absolutely nothing you can do in this moment to fix that situation, let it go. 
If there is something, maybe you can call someone, maybe you can text someone to resolve that or to get closer to the solution, then do so. And once you've done it, let it go. But do not hold on to fear and anxiety because the mind will stop you from living your life. So if you find yourself holding on or thinking about fear, something that, that gives you fear, or thinking about something that makes you anxious, breathe in, breathe out. And as you let go of that oxygen, let go of that thought. It's something that we need to get our brains into because our mind is so used to living its own best life up there, you know. We talk ourselves out of so many things in our mind and we are robbing the world of so much greatness and so much talent. And so, there, there are so many people that can sing, that can dance. And yes, already other people are doing it. So what? So what? There's an abundance of people. So we, we are all your audience. We are, we are ready for you, you know. Don't ever sell yourself short because of your own fears and your own insecurities because of things that have happened in the past or have not even happened yet. So I'm here to tell you that just breathe. Breathe out any negative energy and breathe in the good. Breathe out any anxiety and breathe in the faithfulness. You know, uh, Matthew 6, 34 says that do not worry about what tomorrow holds. Tomorrow has already got its own worries of that day. You know, just focus on today. It's a scriptural thing because God knew that in Mondo, Yandisa isn't it umat harder. However, let us do our best to live in the moment and not use our lives as a means to an end, a means to a better life. Ugudi, once I get that jeep, ah, uh, bazobona. No, asbone manjo, what you can do, you know. Not not withholding um happiness until you get something. We can't do that to ourselves. So I'm literally just here, guys, to let you know that do not, do not spend your whole life waiting to start living. Live in this moment. Live in today. If you have someone that you're not talking to and you miss them and you want to talk to them, call them. After this video, call them. Even if you don't love only, uh, 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 let it be, but call them. Text that person that you wanted to text. Um, email that that concept, that proposal that you wanted to, to email. <laughs> I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. I've got so many things in my mind that I haven't done because I think I'm not good enough. I'm not qualified. Who am I? Who, who am I? Who do I think I am to email an entire company about a concept that I have? Well, a gifted, talented storyteller who can tell captivating stories. So why not? And yes, I'm saying it. Yes, I'm saying it because not just because I've heard it being told to me, but I know I'm just not confident to act on it. So, let me challenge us this week. I'm challenging whoever's watching this video this week. If you watch it next week, key challenge our year next week. So, let me say for the month of June. But, uh, guys, if we shower this week, we answer this week. If we shower next week, we shower this week. But, June, just do the things. We're in the second week of June. Right? Right? So, I'm going to challenge whoever is watching this video. Do what you've been insecure and afraid of doing. Just do it. And see what comes out of it. If nothing comes out, you, you've taken the first step. If something comes out, <laughs> So let's do it. I'm also challenging myself. I can't believe I just spoke a whole however many minutes to in the end say Kitwile. No, fire, a rebuke. I'm not scared. I got this. I mean, what does an email? I can't send an email. I mean, so, but the point is to not wait your whole life waiting for whatever moment that's going to come from whatever sky and then you want to start doing something. So let's get out there and get our lives together and live a full and fulfilled life. Our life situations might be a mess, but our lives are 
complete, perfect, and whole. Have a lovely week, guys. I'm, I just came here to say that. Have a lovely week. Thank you so much for the subscriptions, guys. <laughs> so, thank you so very much. From me, Mama Osemu, bye.